If you're about to write your first invoice, you might be wondering where you can get your tax number. You'll get the answer in this video. Hi, my name is Melchior from Contest, and maybe you're writing your first invoice and you're asking yourself now, where do you actually get your tax number? Because there's no money without an invoice, and your invoice needs a tax number. The tax number is just as important for the tax office because in the tax office, the tax number is somewhat like an internal file number for your specific file. That means every time you file a tax return, when you write to the tax office or even if you call, you need to have your tax number ready because the person in the tax office will only be able to find your file with the correct tax number corresponding to your file and case. If you don't have your tax number, your request will just get lost. Now, if you want to apply for your tax number, you should of course first know where to get it. So at which tax office do you actually have to apply for this number? There are actually two options. If you live where you work, then you only have to have one tax office, which is regionally responsible for you. There's a website that you can go to that tells you which office to contact. I'll post a link to that website under this video. However, if you don't live where you work, you'll have to register twice. Once for your self-employment, so for your income tax with the Wohnsitzfinanzamt, and then also for your sales tax or VAT at the Betriebsstättenfinanzamt. So you'll get a tax number for your business-related taxes and then a second tax number for your income tax. And you get that from your local tax office. That means you have to apply for both tax numbers. If you know where to apply for your tax number, you might be wondering what exactly you have to do to get it. As an employee, it's actually pretty simple. You just do your income tax return and that's pretty much it. For this, you can use any kind of online tool to submit your tax return and then after a few weeks, you'll receive your tax assessment and your tax number which will be on this tax assessment and that is the tax number that you can use from now on. As a freelancer, it's a bit more complicated. If you're self-employed, you will receive your tax number as soon as you register your company with the tax office. If you don't have a tax number yet, this might be a sign that you haven't registered with the tax office and you should definitely do that as soon as possible. You have two options when registering your self-employment. Firstly, you can register as a business owner or, the second option, you register as a freelancer. Depending on this, your tax registration is different. As a business owner, you have to register at the trade office, the Gewerbeamt. You can either go there physically or in most cities or Bundesländer, you can now also do it online. That means you simply go to the website and you register your business. You get your business license and then the trade office will then forward your registration to the office or authorities in charge. This is, for example, the IHK, the Industrie- und Handelskammer, but also the Handwerkskammer and also the tax office. The tax office will then contact you and tell you what you have to do to get your tax number. However, all of this can take a long time. In my experience, sometimes up to three months. So up to three months from the moment you register your business until the tax office contacts you and tells you what you have to do to get your business tax number. If you've just started your business and want to write invoices, you need your tax number and then of course, you don't want to wait three months to start. In this case, you have the option of completing the questionnaire proactively online via Elster Online to get registered for tax purposes. This is how you get your tax number. Personally, I would recommend that you first register your business and immediately afterwards you go to Elster Online, register with the tax office and fill out the questionnaire for tax registration. Then you get your tax number in two to six weeks, depending on the tax office and the status of your work, which you can then write on your invoices. If you're a freelancer, then you can just skip this whole step of registering your business. Now, who would be considered a freelancer and who would be a business owner? I'll create a second video on that, which I'll link to this video. Classic freelancers, for example, are doctors, architects, lawyers, and so on. If you're a freelancer, you don't register a business, but only do the questionnaire for tax registration. This was still possible to do physically until the end of 2020. So you had a questionnaire with six to eight pages that you had to fill out, and then you would just send it in by mail. Since January 2021, you can only do it online. That means you register with Elster Online and fill out the questionnaire there. And then you get your tax number a few weeks later. If you're in a hurry, you may not want to wait two, three, four, five weeks. So if it's super urgent, here's a little tip for you. Just give your tax office a call after about 14 days. Because in my experience, often the tax number already exists in the system. It just hasn't been sent out yet. It can literally take up to two weeks from the creation of a tax number until it actually gets sent out to the person. So if you're really in a hurry, just call your tax office after about 14 days 
ask what the processing status is and chances will be pretty good that they can tell you your tax number on the phone right there. Ultimately, you get a letter. That means you get one letter per tax office with different tax numbers and also which tax number corresponds to which tax office. For example, if you have two tax offices, your residence tax and your business tax office, then you will get two letters from different tax offices and it will say on the letter which tax types you have to use which number for. I hope this short video has helped you. If you have any other tax related questions, feel free to write a comment below this video. If you're interested in the services of Contest Tax Consulting, you can also find all the information below this video. Otherwise, you can also watch these videos here and here. And I look forward to seeing you next time.